welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix wi-fi can't connect to this network error on windows 10 or windows 11. i will be sharing 7 8 effective solution that you can apply one by one and i'm pretty sure that after applying all this method your problem will be fixed and if this get fixed then please consider subscribing to the channel like the video share with your friends and family members the very first thing that I recommend that you should run the troubleshooter that will help you to find out the problem uh, why your Wi-Fi isn't able to connect. So click on the search box of your Windows 10 or 11 type troubleshoot and from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings. Now here you have to click on additional troubleshooter. Then scroll down a bit you will find an option of network adapter double click on it and then click run the troubleshooter. Now this will ask you the kind of adapter so you have to select Wi-Fi and then click on next. Now this will start detecting and try to resolve the problem and for any suggestion any help it will let you know that where exactly the problem is. So it said the problem found the diagnostic policy service is not running. Alright so that doesn't seem to me a problem so what I can do I can close it. Close everything. Next what you have to do. Uh, you have to locate to the Wi-Fi connection. Now what you have to do just need to make a right click on the SSID the Wi-Fi name and choose forget. Now before clicking on it make sure that you remember the password because the next time when you will try to connect it it will ask you the password. Okay so if you remember it then you can go ahead and click on forget and after that try to reconnect again and see that if the problem get fixed and if not Again click on the search box type ncpa.cpl hit enter and here you will see all kind of your network adapter you have to look for Wi-Fi make a right click on it and choose properties. Double click on internet protocol version 4 and make sure here this uh, configuration has been set to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS error address automatically. If it's been selected to use the following DNS IP address then probably you're not getting the proper connectivity from your internet service provider. So select the first option for both this feature here and then click on OK. Click OK again. Now make a right click on this Wi-Fi. Click on disable. Wait for a few seconds. Again make a right click on it and choose enable. Once done check back again if the problem is fixed and if not Next what you have to do you need to click on the search box type CMD. Command prompt will be up make a right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to type few command that you will be getting in the description you can copy and paste here. The first one will be NETSH space winsock space reset. Next will be NETSH space INT space IP space reset space reset log dot txt hit enter again and the final command will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS hit enter again now after this close it now look for your windows icon make a right click on it and choose device manager once the device manager comes up here you have to look for network adapters then look for the Wi-Fi adapter here that is Intel Wi-Fi. Right click on it and choose uninstall device. Again click on uninstall and once it's been uninstalled you need to restart your computer. And also you need to restart your modem or router through which you are connected. And after that check back I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. So that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye